This week in retrospect, we take you back to 1993 when the Thunderchild Band signs a land treaty. Although the treaty was initiated in 1876, it took the Thunderchild Band in Ottawa 117 years to ratify it. The deal will see the band near Turtle Ford receive $33 million over the next 12 years. Thunderchild Band Chief Winston Weekook says there were some doubts about the fairness yes. of the deal. There are certain people who have felt uh, throughout uh, even our uh, negotiations here that uh, well, possibly we may be uh, uh, getting an uh, undercut somewhere. Chief Weekook says despite the doubts, the vote was received well overall, with 97% of the band approving it. Northern Affairs Regional Director Myler Saville says the signing of the tree signals a positive future for the band. It will be that the band's trust account is now set up and they can proceed with their plans, particularly their land acquisition plans, and acquire the land uh, that they so desire and get into the market. The $33 million will be used to purchase at least 38,000 acres of land. Chief Wikusk says the band has future plans for any money left over. The money is left over after the purchase of the 38,000 acres will be up to the band. Band development, we mean uh, things like uh, possibly a recreational facility, arena and band offices and things like that. And possibly some uh, uh, accommodations for people possibly on the reserve and maybe even in the urban centers. Tammy De Silva, News Hour. And in 1998, local residents are urged to ration water usage amid shortages. Manville residents are being asked to ration the amounts of water that they are using. We requested uh, people to uh, refrain from watering lawns or gardens. Uh, we do have a, a shortage in our reservoir right now. Uh, until that is built back up, we'll uh, have them refrain from usage. The combination of dry conditions and excessive water consumption have caused the underground reservoir to drop. I think most people, and we do anyways, try to conserve water daily anyways, the, the way we live. It's not only the public who need to keep tabs on their water consumption, local business is also affected. We haven't been that busy, so uh, I think our consumption right now is right under the 2% of what the whole town of Manville takes. We're uh, presently uh, getting uh, filters uh, into our system so we can uh, recycle our water and so our consumption will be uh, very much at all. Water. It's something most of us take for granted. Now as Manville residents do their part to conserve water, we should all learn a lesson in trying to protect our most valuable resource. If everybody uses it uh, wisely, there's enough water uh, to go around. Brian Mudrick for NewsHour. And that's all for this week in Retrospect. Retrospect is brought to you by Webb's Machinery. Find New Holland products at Webb's Machinery, your dealer in Vermilion, Vegreville, Lamont, Wainwright, St. Paul, and Consulate.